Hello, I'm Tom Nodziak. Today I'm here with England international and legend Paul Drinkle. In this video, Paul is going to demonstrate his forehand flicks, one of the shots that Paul does really, really well. Um, this video is part of a Play It Like Paul series, which we're doing in partnership with Brybar Table Tennis. Um, we've got loads of good tips from Paul, lots of demonstrations, so keep on watching and enjoy. This video is brought to you in partnership with Brybar Table Tennis. Visit brybartt.co.uk today for a wide range of rubbers, blades, bats, balls and clothing from all your favourite table tennis brands. The forehand flick is actually one of my favourite shots. Um, most of the time serves me very well. Um, again, it's a, it is a difficult shot to, to try and master. Um, so if you're doing it off a receive, uh, the, for me the easiest ball to do it off is a float slash float black backspin. So not a very heavy backspin serve, but also it's, got a it's still got a little bit of backspin on. So you can use the spin to keep it low to the net coming in, getting low to the ball, head close to the racket and from the forearm and wrist, very short, quick movement. And one thing that's very important with this is as well is, is the placement of your shot because if, if you're doing a good flick all the time straight to the, the forehand, the player can get used to that. Um, so make sure you try and, and create one where you've got a bit of disguise down to the backhand or even to the middle. But You're not trying to really hit the ball very hard with this because you're really close to the net so the speed of it can catch your opponent out. Again keeping low to the table, close to the bat with your head and then short strokes. Some great tips there from Paul on how to play the forehand flick. And the forehand flick is actually quite a tough shot, but Paul made it look really, really easy. And I think how he made it look easy was that he wasn't forcing it too much. And actually the flick wasn't that powerful, but the placement was excellent. He'd get it very, very deep into a corner or into the crossover position. So it put me onto the back foot straight away. And I guess the way that Paul was playing that, it wasn't just a shot in an isolation. It wasn't just a flick and, oh, let's see what happens. It was flick, recover, expecting me to, I guess, block back his flick and then he's straight in for the next shot, top spinning the ball past me. I think we, a lot of the time, concentrate on the backhand flick and even is progressing playing the backhand flick from the forehand corner. But, you know, the forehand flick's possible. Perhaps we should concentrate on the forehand flick a little bit more. As more and more people do this, actually, maybe there's an advantage to be gained from using your forehand flick a little bit more. So 
So forehand flick, effective shot, don't try too hard, go for good placement, recover, get ready for the next ball, and then, you, then you'll be playing a little bit more like Paul Drinkle. Thank you for watching and a big thank you to Paul Drinkle for sharing his table tennis tips and also a big thank you to Brybar for sponsoring this video. I've got more videos coming soon so please make sure you click the subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.